Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and in today's video, I am reviewing Arc Rival Nails. So they very kindly sent me a bunch of stuff to review, and um, I'm really excited to get into this all with you. They are a Canadian company. I believe they've only been around for about like four or five months or so. They have such an amazing aesthetic in their like packaging, um, their bottles, everything just has this really cool and cohesive like kind of crime aesthetic um it's really really cool i'm really excited to show you guys all the stuff that i got um i'm so grateful that they um asked if i would review this and that they sent me so much stuff um and i can't wait to get into this i have so much stuff to show you there's a ton of swatches and I'm going to show you a couple things that I did just playing around with the products. The packaging is really, really cool. They even sent this little gift and uh, my youngest one stole all the candy, so I'm not going to tell my oldest about it at all. Um, but this is everything. As you can tell, like really, really cool packaging, really awesome aesthetic and the products are awesome too spoiler alert they even sent this really cute card with the little wax seal like like i said the aesthetics of this brand is phenomenal um, i love that they're canadian as well i do tend to like to keep all my products canadian or at least north american uh, when i can i have a couple things that are european but for the most part i do like to kind of stick with uh, my base products and gel products to be north american so let's get into the gel polish you guys know i love gel polish um, it's kind of my preferred thing as you can see aesthetics on point we got that kind of like bloody fingerprint the names are all really cool they're like case numbers um there's even like x-file type things i just thought it was really cool they have such amazing branding and these polishes swatch so nicely i really just wanted to take a little minute to show you the bottles there's a little crime scene tape on them and um, they still continue that kind of fingerprint um, detail on the bottles and they have all the names like the case files on the side i just really think um, they look really nice and um, let's get into the actual swatches um, this one is like a dusky red i would describe it um this is the ancient uh bouquet i definitely would do two coats this is teen scream and again i would do two coats um i'm just showing one on camera just for time's sake you know i like to kind of keep my videos to the point um but yeah like they swatch so wonderfully they're so so pigmented um like two thin coats and you're golden i definitely wanted to show you um the two coats of the glitter it is a jelly base and so it does make a huge difference when you get that second coat on there so i did have to include that this one is stunning it's like a little teal kind of goldy sparkle um i definitely don't have anything like it super unique to my collection i definitely need to try some more of their glitters and you guys need to let me know what you want me to try out um they have a ton of stuff um like gel polishes potted gels builder gels acrylic you guys let me know what you want me to try in the comments i will try it um they're a new company so i know that there's nothing really out there that's kind of showing what they have so let me know these are their potted gels they're in these really cute little cardboard containers and then they're plastic wrapped as well so i did take the plastic wrap off camera but I had to empty all these on camera because they're just really cute. And again, the packaging, it's top notch. Um, there is like three of these little layers of foamy things. So I did take the rest off camera um, just to save time. And yeah, the pot of gels. I know like I'm a gel polish girl, but these pot of gels are stunning. Like they are insanely pigmented. This color 
like it looks like metallic I don't have a color like this for sure especially nothing like this gorgeously pigmented and shimmery and that color and this pure crack <laughs> which I love the names the names are amazing I do have two designs at the end that I use them in so do stay tuned for that um, I kind of wanted to show you just me play and what I kind of came up with just playing around with them um, but these go on like butter they're so smooth and as you can tell I'm like really pushing hard and I'm not getting any shadowing which is amazing um, I do um love these potted gels so much i can't wait to try some more and um let's get into the black and the white which is non-dairy i love the name again they're so creative um you do see a little shadowing with the white i am pressing really really hard with my brush um but when i let it kind of sit for a second it all just kind of levels out and you really don't see the shadowing in the end um and the black stunning like I definitely do not have a potted black that goes on this nicely and again like I said I'm pushing very hard um, with my brush and I'm not getting any shadowing at all it's definitely like a one coat black just wonderful wonderful products um so I'm very excited to try more of these um and these are your base top and matte had to show you the packaging like, look at these handles on them. They're so stunning. Um, I've used them. Uh, the top coat is uh, amazing. You know I like a kind of a juicier top coat. It's definitely my style. It's not too thin and runny. And the matte is really nice. Um, it does have a little bit of a heat spike, so make sure you cure it on, like, low. Um, and it's really pretty, too. You, I... I do use it in the designs at the end because I really wanted to show you, but I did top gloss all the swatches that I did with just the regular top coat um, just to kind of show you how like glossy and wonderful and juicy it is. Um, but yeah, these are all the colors. Um, they are all really different in person. I know the two kind of red ones do look a bit similar, but in, in person, they're very different. Um, stunning stunning colors they sent me i am so so happy and these are the matte and the designs i kind of came up with i did use um the non-dairy potted gel to do the swirls and i just want you to to take a moment to appreciate how fine some of those lines are like it is stunningly pigmented anyway thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe um comment what you want to see next from this company um and i will be more than happy to show you